The Ebola outbreak is causing caution and fear around the world. How likely is it to spread and what's the risk? Those are two big questions and KRDO News Channel 13's Dana Molina is separating fact from fiction. When it comes to the Ebola outbreak, the advice is simple. Don't panic. You're not likely to get it. People pretty much have to be showing active symptoms in order for you to catch this type of disease. You have to have close contact. It's not like the flu. It's not like the cold that you can be in the same room and catch. Instead, Ebola, you pretty much have to have contact with body fluids or the body itself. But even if someone's coughing or sneezing, if you're in the same room, you really don't have much to worry about. But if they're having to cough and sneeze on you, that's when the concern goes a little bit higher. But if the risk is low, then why are we seeing these workers heavily geared up with hazmat suits? That's a cleanup crew. So they're going in to clean up those messy areas and they need to be very careful. There were a lot of body fluids left over there. Now the virus can't hand, handle being outside the body for very long, but if it's inside body fluids, and we're talking if somebody has diarrhea, if somebody vomits, bloody vomit, that type of thing, those body fluids themselves are gonna have the virus in it and that can stick around a long time. Another common misconception is that Ebola is or will become airborne. There's no evidence to suggest it's gonna get airborne and um, I, I regard it as more than a million to one. Uh, in terms of, of the probability for that, more like a billion to one. Andrew Price Smith has been an associate advisor to the National Intelligence Council since 2008. He says we shouldn't be worried about the spread of Ebola in the U.S. What they should be worried about is the, the potential for greater importation of the disease through infected people coming from other parts of the world into the country. That's a real issue, that people may get through the screening process at airports, they may cheat the system, otherwise lie or try to reduce their temperatures. That's why he says the U.S. should take charge and send troops to build treatment units in West Africa. Now, both Dr. John and Price Smith say that Ebola probably won't spread to the rest of the country or that it'll ever reach Colorado. Still, as we told you last week, hospitals here in the area are ready in the rare case that that would happen. Live in Colorado Springs, Dana Molina, KRDO News Channel 13. Thanks so much, Dan.